you are doing fine. Now, in this lesson, you will learn about reported speech. So, what is reported speech? Reported speech is used to tell people what someone has said. We can use the word said or told. How to differentiate whether you said or told? Uh, let's take a look. Here, for example, Julia said that she was hungry. Okay, note that when you the word that you can use it, or if you don't want to use that, that's fine. It's optional. Julia said that she was hungry. Compared to Julia told me that she was hungry. So in here, let's take a look to the difference. After the word said, there is nothing. There is no object. Right? No object at all. But if you use told, it must be followed by an object. To whom do you say this statement? Uh, it must be clear. So that's the difference. Okay, now we will learn how to change direct speech into reported speech. Take a look to the whiteboard. Here, I've written the list, direct speech, reported speech. First, if the direct speech is in the present simple form, you change it into past simple. Present, change into past. Okay, take a look to the example. Dinner is ready. Here, how can we know that it is present simple? We can know that this sentence is present simple from the to be, from the verb is. Now, for in recorded speech or indirect speech, we change it to past simple. Mom said, again, mom said that dinner was. Okay, so if in the direct speech, it use is as the verb. For this one, we use was because we change it into past simple. All right. Now take a look to the second pattern. Present continuous. Change into past continuous. Okay. Present simple, change into past simple. So present continuous, change into past Continues. For example, it's raining. Joe told us. We can see that it's present from the to be is. It is raining. So we change the verb into past form. Joe told us it was raining. Okay. Just like number one is changed into was, this is also the same. How is the to be are? For example, they are studying. Joe told us. So, we can make it into Joe told us they were studying. Okay? So, if the to be is changed into was, but if you use are, change into were. Okay, next, past simple, change into past, oh wait, I make mistake, it's supposed to be past, ah, wait for a while, that's right, past simple, I'm correct, actually, past simple, change into past perfect, this one has different pattern, remember, if this one is in the simple form, Right? We change it into the perfect form. The past stays the same. Past simple, past perfect. For example, they went to town. I said. You change it into I said they had gone. Okay? So if past simple, you use subject plus verb to. Right? If past perfect, you use subject plus had followed by verb 3. 
verbally or past participle. Okay, this is the past participle form of went. Go, went, gone. Okay, right. Next, present perfect. Present, change into past perfect. Mia has arrived. Present perfect, subject. Has plus verb 3. Mia has arrived. The verb 3. Change it into past perfect. Tom said Mia had arrived. Okay. Past perfect subject. Plus had plus verb 3. Okay. Last one. Will on one. Can or can't. Change into would or wouldn't, could or couldn't. Let's take a look at the example. I can't swim. I told Chris. Can't. You change it into I told Chris I couldn't swim. So can't change into couldn't. Okay. What if the example is I will go to the cinema. So you can say, I told Chris I would go to the cinema. Remember, after could or would, followed by verb one. Okay, this is also the same after can't, followed by verb one. Okay, so to summarize, if we take a look, present, change into past. Again, present, change into past form. Simple, change into perfect. Present, change into past. This is present form, change into past. So we can make the summary of it. It becomes if the direct speech is in the present form. Okay. Here, let's make circle. If the direct speech is in the present form, we change it into past form. If the direct speech is already in the past form, just like this, past simple, we change it into the perfect form. Past change into perfect form. So this is what you should remember. You have to identify the direct speech, whether it is in the present or in the past form. If it's in the present, change into past. If past, change into perfect. What if mm, the direct speech is already in the perfect form? So it stays the same. You don't need to change anything. Okay? That's it for my explanation. Now, for your task, you will do grammar book, page 74 to 77. Okay? I'm waiting for your answer. Thank you for listening to me. See you on the next lesson. Bye-bye.